You know, one thing that I really absolutely love is the fact that in information technology or NIT, it doesn't require you to have, you know, degrees to make it to a point of where you want to make it. So I'm saying that in regards to there's so many different parts of the field where you can grow and really be whatever it is that you want to be. And it's not almost like a cookie cutter thing where you say, hey, I'm gonna go to school and this is what I'm going to study. I'm gonna 100% focus on this. But the beauty of it is in IT, whatever it is that you're passionate about and that skill that you want, there's so much free stuff online and advice that's out there that can allow you to make great money and grow. I can show you, I can count the number of people that I know in multiple sides of this field that make great money with and without degrees. And that's the beauty of it. It is not necessarily based on degree until you get to a you know a level. I'm sure people, if they want you to be uh, the you know a chief technology officer or, or a chief information officer of a big corporation, I'm sure they're going to want you to have you know probably like a master's degree or something like that in order to run that particular company. But then again, it makes me think that if a person is skillful enough with their IT skills, I'm sure that maybe some companies could probably like go past that and, and probably move past that and still allow that person to get into that part of the field. So this is just, this is just a reassurance uh, to somebody that's fairly new, uh, or to my someone, not me, but someone who is fairly new into the field. This is for them just to reassure them that whatever it is that you think that you that you want to do like if you like if you like messing around with servers for instance this this right here is a great example so very few very few IT professionals can actually say that they set up like a full domain for a company most of the times when they go into a company that's already has been created by the first person at that company that that was there with them from starting from ground up they created it and then all the other it pros from that point picked up from that level but i can honestly say that i i i have been able to to set up a domain for a new company and it was one of the most valuable experiences that i can ever have and it's very rare that it people get to do that but well they can if if you're studying for like an exam then you can definitely um study and you can definitely do like a like a um like a lab you can get that experience but i'm talking about it's very few it people who have actually created a live production new active directory setup a windows server setup for a live company and i had that opportunity to do that and i'm glad that i have taken that and it has worked out so great because i'm learning so much stuff and it's forcing me to go further and research things like setting up a server then are purchasing the server for one to figure out what components you need getting the server and actually setting it up and then creating and installing like the windows server what 20 uh not 19 now uh standard and figuring out which one of those that you need uh whether if it's standard or the data center and then from that actually installing the server roles themselves and then configuring your Active Directory um, domain services. So setting that to uh, your primary or promoting the server to a 
uh, main domain controller, then setting the, st the, the or setting the static IP and then you know setting the server name, like all that stuff. It's a certain order that that has to go in. But I'm just kind of just speaking, just from mid memory off the top of my head, what I was able to do, and um, and then configuring it. Uh, configuring the IP address scope and then setting the exclusions uh, of those IP addresses, you know, for your routers and switches and so forth. Like, that's been so exciting just to be able to do that. And I'm glad I'm able to have done this and share this information with you because like I always say, I enjoy sharing content and you always, always need to continue to learn because it would be one of the most beneficial things that you could ever do in your life. What you do not, absolutely do not need to do, you do not need to wait to work in an organization to learn how to do these things. If you are in the field or just getting into the field, Go and buy the books. Uh, go and buy um, like the or do the test trials. Like uh, even if you're standing up, standing up a domain in um, Microsoft Azure, or you can go into AWS and set set up a directory. You know there as well. Uh, it's not recommended, but you can still do it. But setting up like an actual physical domain, like setting up the networks and different stuff like that, like that is something that you definitely need to do because it is going to help you out so much and it's going to expound your thought, especially if you do like IT consulting and stuff. If you're consulting with like small uh, businesses, uh, this gives you like you have to get your foot in the door at some point in being able to create like, you know, those kind of things. Um, but I'm definitely speaking from, from, from joy and just so glad that I just took a lot of major steps in changing the way that I do things and changing the way that I see things and growing myself personally to make myself way more marketable. And you should definitely make yourself way more marketable as well by taking the initiative to learn these new technologies that are out here. And even if you like, one, one, one of my uh, friends uh, who's in IT, um, I was asking them some questions and they had let me use one of their uh, books. And like, for example, I, I had taken like that Windows Server 2008 book and I just like, just kind of just skimmed through it. And then kind of compared it to some of the similarities in Windows Server 2019. And it was, it was very, very good. Like, I totally like it. And um, I'll try to get to a demo that I can do, probably from like a demo account, not like a live domain environment. Uh, but um, we'll see if I can just try to get into one of those and set up a VM and just kind of go through what I'm talking about because it would probably make more sense of me uh, going through it like that and then talking about it. But this video right here was just uh, more for like reassurance to you to never stop growing, always continue to learn. Anytime somebody asks me, how am I doing? I always say, still learning because there's not a single IT person in this world who knows everything. People are dumb in certain things. People are very smart in certain things. Nobody knows all. There's not an end all be all, but you can definitely be the best at what you do if you continue to drive and push forward uh, to um, you know, hone your skills in a particular part. Definitely try not to be a, a jack of all trades. Have a focus. Take that focus, move with it. And once you become that subject matter expert and you want to try something else, definitely uh, try that. Uh, but I will leave that to you uh, there. So always continue to learn. Never, ever let your work life keep you from learning things in your personal life. That is the biggest mistake that you can do. You always need to be challenged. You always need to uh, learn. For example, uh, for me, I mean, I've done desktop support and I've liked desktop support. And, you know, I got to a point where, you know, hey, I wanted to, to do something completely different. So I switched it up. So now, you know, I'm studying uh, information, I'm studying strategic communication in uh, 
IT policy and law. So now I'm looking at like IT policies that deal with intellectual property or, um, you know, sorry, intellectual property law, privacy law in regards to, um, you know, IT security. And so I really like it. And so that's like a, a more like a lateral move for, for me to be able to learn something new. And I'm glad I did because it forced me to think. And so uh, I'm definitely way more analytical than what I used to be. If something, if a problem happens, I'm asking questions and trying to figure out how it happened and trying to figure out how I can help the end user. So take that, run with it. I hope that that's very helpful to you. Like, listen, and subscribe to theblackmantle.com or dimensiontechnologies.com. Uh, look forward to the comments below and hopefully we can get some more live, de uh, live demos as well on the platforms you go we can walk through a couple of tutorials you all have a wonderful day